Dorothy Coles drives a commercial stretch limousine, also owns a few. Christmas, graduation time, and summer are very busy. And then there's Valentine's Day. We get a lot, receive a lot of calls, and demand is quite high, and it's usually just one couple going out in a limousine to dinner, and sometimes they have an overnight stay at a hotel. There goes my, there goes my breast. <laughs> Just happens that for this Valentine's story, the clients are not your ordinary Joes. You're so tall. Crystal, tell me, what do you what do you like to do during Valentine's? I just spend time with my fiance and just taking it easy. Yeah, and this group of friends, of course. You oh, absolutely. We all party together. My name's Godiva. Yes, and? Ruby Slipper. Yeah, so you have a nice limo ride at Valentine's. Is that it? Absolutely. It's always fun and extra romantic. Oh, really? You too? Yes, Dorothy makes us all feel glamorous. I call them the girls, and they're a lot of fun, and they like to get dressed up, and uh, they just want to do a tour around town today. Obviously, Valentine's inspires all kinds of folks and a $150,000 stretch limo is one decadent way to celebrate. Well, we usually include a tour through town and down White Avenue in the limo, and they have their bubbly in the back. Yes, TVs, videos, and sort of thing. Yeah, there's a DVD player and a stereo. and It's the glamour. It's people watch a limo drive by, and then to see this come pouring out of a limo adds to the top of it. Well, you look spectacular. Well, thank you. So what can you tell us about the specs of this This, this car? is a stretched Chrysler 300, which was built here in Canada. And it was stretched 180 inches. And this is the only one in the province. It's got the Hemi engine, so it likes to go. We have been in this one a couple of times. We rent it for big parties. We love to just cruise around before going to the bar. Yeah, well, you get noticed, I think. Totally, and getting out for shows, it's even more glamorous when you show up to do a show in this. Of course, people don't need to be ultra glamorous to do a Valentine's Day limo, but they might end up feeling that way if they do. It's a treat for me to chauffeur. I've been doing it for 18 years, and no two days are alike, and no two groups are alike, and it's a lot of fun. Happy Valentine's to everybody. This is Tim Dance. I love you, honey.